What's up guys, it's been a while. Exactly one year ago I bought this QNAP NAS and so far I've been pretty happy with it. Until today. For some reason I cannot log in anymore and I'm very confident that I managed to write my password correctly. After all, QNAP123 isn't that hard to remember. Anyway, I've read that after too many attempts the NAS will block your IP to protect itself from brute forcing the password. So I tried it with different PCs but none of them would work. This is why I want to make a soft reset in order to gain access again. After all, I've got tons of video material that I still need to procrastinate to cut on and at least I'd like to theoretically be able to look at it. After checking the device's manual, I'm optimistic that only the admin password will be reset, but the data and the whole internal structure with data pools and virtual drives will stay untouched. I'm a bit nervous, you know, because I've got no backup. Why would I need backup if I got RAID 2? Well, this is why. All the eggs are in the encrypted QNAP basket and that thing won't open. In order to make a soft reset, you just normally shut it down by pressing the power button for 1.5 seconds. Now you poke a small pointy thing into the reset button, which is hidden in here. You press the power button and wait exactly 3 seconds, then you let go. It's important to not hold it any longer, because after 15 seconds there will be a second beep to perform a full factory reset. You would only want to do this if you sell the device, including the hard drives, because this will erase everything on the hard drives. After the restart, the first thing I notice is the background has changed. Now at first I tried out my old password, which of course didn't work, but then I entered the Mac1 address that I found on a sticker on the bottom of the device. If for some reason you can't find that or someone has ripped off the sticker, you can still find the Mac address using QNAP QFinder. But be careful, in QFinder the Mac address shows up with spacers. You need to remove all of them and put all the numbers and letters into the password field in one go, without any spaces. Yes! I'm finally back in. I'm happy that it worked and I'm gonna let it do a firmware update now. Later on I'm gonna change the password over to a new one and then I hope it works for another year or so. Or ideally that this error doesn't occur anymore because I still don't know why it did that. I hope I could help you today and maybe I could take away some of the anxiety that you might experience while trying to reset your NAS drive. Oh, <laughs> there we are. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you soon.